role of vocational education. I'm Jill Horner, this is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is New Jersey State Assemblyman Patrick Dignan of the 18th District. Thanks Hi, for being Jill. with us. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the role that these schools play now. We think of a Votech high school, but you say we need to think of them in a new way by maybe even changing the name of these schools to reflect the role they serve today. Yeah, I mean, people of my generation, when they hear the ro uh, uh, term vocational schools, they actually call them Votech. They think of a trade school, and our vocational schools today are much different than trade schools. I believe we should actually change the name to career academies because really, basically, uh, they offer any types of careers, whether it's uh, technical, uh, computer-oriented, the traditional trades, and also college-bound. Uh, we have in uh, Middlesex County the uh, Academy of uh, Arts and Sciences. 100% of the kids last year that went to that vocational school were accepted to college. And these so, are public schools? Public schools. Just, uh, you know, uh, paid for, transportation included, participate in sports, everything like another public school would have uh, in place applies to our vocational schools. And there are these schools throughout the state, they're in each county, but let's talk a little bit about uh, some of the other things that happen within these schools. Is there the opportunity, for example, if someone wants to have uh, a trade, like being a plumber, uh, that they can attend these schools and then maybe get something like an internship? Absolutely. That's, and in fact, again, using Middlesex County, we have a very big intern program with all of our unions at our, at our uh, county vocational school in East Brunswick. You know, Bill Clinton said the best social program is a job. 85% of the kids statewide that attend our vocational school have a job waiting for them when they graduate, 85%. When you see the unemployment rate in our center cities, et cetera, to me, this is a real solution that we need to explore. And you mentioned, though, that these young people may have a job at, the, at upon graduation, but a lot of them are, are attending college as well. Correct. As I said, in, in, um, in Middlesex County, at, the, at our one academy, 100%, but across the board, uh, in, in excess of 75% percent of the kids that attend our vocational schools also have the opportunity to attend college. Are there enough of these schools? There's one in each county. Some counties have more than that. But when you think about some of the larger counties that may only have one or two schools, does that go far enough? I believe no. If I ruled the world, which I don't, thankfully, <laughs> if I ruled the world, I would, especially in our center cities, create more vocational schools. I think when you look at Newark, when you look at Camden, some of our urban areas where the unemployment rate amongst young folks are up over 50 percent, for them to know that a job is waiting for them, the interaction between business and industry and the school, I just think it's a grand slam homer. And I think it's one of the things we should look into. And thankfully, uh, our president, President Obama in the State of the Union, our uh, Speaker Vinnie Prieto, and our Senate President Steve Sweeney, all three have indicated that they consider vocational education to be a top priority for the upcoming year. So I'm, I'm excited about it. And you actually want to have a conference related to this. Talk to us a little bit about what you'd hope to achieve. See, the problem is right now, and I'm sure you've read about it, there's jobs out there, but the skills are not matching the jobs. So what I'm hoping to do, really, uh, this is being uh, uh, recorded in March and ho hopefully before June, we can have a conference of business leaders throughout the state to say, to match what curriculum is needed for the jobs that are available. And, and we just have a short time left, but in that idea and working to close the skills gap, what kind of role can these vocational educational institutions serve? Oh, tremendous roles. I mean, yeah, you know the, the employment centers around New Jersey, whether it be Prudential or whether it be Merck or whatever, to, to sit with them and say, what do you need? What do you want the kids to have? What skills when they graduate? And to merge them uh, with the particular employer is a grand slam homer. Come back. Give us an update. Let us know how this is all progressing. Come back anytime you have me. Thank you. <laughs> We've been talking with New Jersey State Assemblyman Patrick Dagnan of the 18th District. I'm Jill Horner.